guys welcome back to the hustle network today's video i wanted to talk about the importance of having a work order for service-based businesses in the beginning of our business we did not have any work orders we were writing stuff down on just plain sheets of paper it was kind of to the extent where it was just getting messy way unorganized and we had to find a better way to organize so today's video i'm going to show you what your work order should look like keep on so here I'm going to go ahead and list the work order and then we will just discuss it, talk about it, uh, the importance of having some of these things listed on your work order as well. So one important key factor is the move date or time. Or if you have another service-based business, any move date and time is important. You need to put on that work order the date and the time that the service needs to be completed. The booking date. There's lots of times where I was just moving too fast uh, when I was using these work orders and I didn't put the booking date. And there's times that I did put the booking date, which helped me because there was some information missing. Type of move. Now you can do this, like I said, before I say anything else, because I don't want to have to keep repeating it, you can change this work order however you want to whatever service you want. This one is specifically for moving. so. Do how you want to do okay so this one says the type of move so box truck or pickup um if it's a u-haul size if you're just providing labor only uh, are you loading unloading or are you doing both we would just circle both consignment meaning we would always pick up uh, from consignment store so we knew that it was a delivery or labor only which technically would go into the u-haul size but uh, it was just added on anyway. A pickup, stairs, yes or no. The importance of having, s now this is like, it's funny because every time uh, we would have a move, our movers would always say, is there stairs, is there stairs? Especially in summertime because that can be pretty crucial, especially in the heat and especially if you're going up to the third floor. It, it gets tough out there, it definitely does, but it definitely helps knowing that um, if there are going to be stairs or not because sometimes you get to the point where you know there aren't movers as strong as others there's movers that have more strength or just don't do well with going upstairs downstairs period so that definitely helped out a lot can you have stairs whether it's at the drop off also and then how many flights of course because that helps um client's name address uh and it says client's name and it says the address on both sides because you want to get the address for the pickup as well as the drop off uh, apartment city any gate codes for any for either location as well as the phone number um, and then start time so this is how I've always done it as soon as I got to a move as soon as equipment was pulled out and we were like I had shrink wrap in my hand I had my work order they were going in with the dolly after we introduced ourselves I would have them sign at the start time this is big because a lot of times you get customers who say you guys weren't here at so-and-so time um, no because I pulled in at so-and-so and I looked at the clock and you weren't here at that time when no you signed that we were here and we started at that time yes now it all depends like um, how movers do their business um, for us uh, like for now I do as soon as they arrive but before it was not until we pulled out the equipment and we were ready to go but now that I do things different as soon as they arrive the movers will let me know hey we're here we just backed in we're ready to go and then that's how I do that um, and then you have the customer initial as well as the end time now total time of move, um, so whatever you rated then for the hourly rate, every time that you put for your hourly rate, so it can be, you know, it can change from either apartment house move or delivery, um, as well as the hours. So if it was only three hours, I'm gonna put three hours and then I'm gonna put the rate and then whatever that equals out to and then there I will accept the cashier card. Now this is important, the bottom half, which is what they have. So I always ask, um, can you give me some detail of the items that we are going to be moving? Sometimes customers uh, downplay their move or they either just have way more than what they said that they did. 
Um, and they sometimes do that because they're trying to get the best rate and they don't want to say that they have much. So they will try to, uh, of course, say that they don't have that much. And, you know, it happens, but it is what it is. So living room, we got couch, love seat, sleeper, and we would just check these off by what they said to us. Sectional pieces, if so, how many pieces? It could be two, it could be six, it could be four. Entertainment center, coffee table, end table, TVs, recliner chair, large rugs, dining room. Do you have table and chairs? Do you have any lamps? In your room one and room two, what's the bed size, the dressers, night tables, headboard, and footboard? Because that gives us a good idea of how much room we're going to need for all this. Other, bookshelf, china cabinet, armoires, desks, piano, boxes, bags. Because a lot of times I get customers who just have bags. Like literally we're just putting bags into the truck. Um, and file cabinets. At the Down below is the assemble or disassemble. So do they want us to put things together and take them apart? That is important because you need to know if you're going to be taking things apart because of course taking things down does take a little bit more time especially if you're not used to doing the same thing each and every time as like a white glove delivery. Um, then you are going to need to be able to make sure that you have tools for disassembling and assembling. Now appliances, do they have washer, dryer, or refrigerator? A lot of times moving uh, apartments don't have washer, dryer, or fridge, but you do in those instances have uh, apartments that are moving washer, dryer, and fridge. And comments down below. Now comments is where I kept um, stuff like they want us to turn on this street, um, make sure to call customer five minutes before arrival, Whatever notes, whatever important details, I just put it down at the comment down below. Again, the whole checking off of what they have is going to play a big part in knowing how big your move is, what size truck you're going to need. Because if you are renting trucks to do these jobs, okay, a 15 foot truck is not going to be big enough for two queen beds, a refrigerator, washer and dryer, a six piece, six piece couch and love seat, a china cabinet, two desks etc like it's just not gonna fit you're gonna need something way bigger so once you get the idea of what you're moving and you get down in your head the truck sizes you're gonna know what's gonna fit and what's not gonna fit just by estimating in your head having a service work order is going to help you overall in estimating how long a move is gonna take estimating uh, the distance in between two locations um, you need a service work order and if you would like to purchase a service work order you can i have it at my have it on my website at www.hustle-network.com you can get this work order here right now all you have to do is click the link below or copy and paste the link purchase this for seven dollars and be able to get it immediately now if you want you can go ahead and open it up and then go ahead and put your logo because i am leaving the top blank because you need to put your logo at the top so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? What are you doing? You need to subscribe to The Hustle Network because we don't just come with tips, tricks, and how to do business. We come with it all. So don't forget. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget, I'm coming back with videos each and every single week. Bye.